I was on my way home from an awesome overlanding trip through Burdu Canyon in Joshua Tree National Park. This was a great opportunity to explore an overland route through Jawbone Canyon Off-Highway Vehicle Park. I've camped here on my way to other places to go overlanding, but I've never actually explored the park. Jawbone is in the California desert and is more popular with motorcycles and ATV riders. Today I'll go from Jawbone Station over to Kelso Valley Road in the Kern River Valley. So I've just started the trip. I'm only a couple miles into it. I stopped to air down the tires. Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Jawbone Canyon OHV Park. It's a large off-highway vehicle park in California. And I'm gonna to attempt to drive from the BLM station, Jawbone Station on Highway 14, all the way through the park, all the way till I come out on a Highway 178, Lake Isabella, on the way to Bakersfield. It should be all back roads. And today I'm doing something a little different than I usually do. I've got this California back roads and four wheel drive trails book. It's a guide book and it has a lot of roots in it and it has this one and it has gps coordinates that take you through each point of the drive i've never really done that before so i'm going to use the guidebook and i'm also going to set the gps coordinates here on my my garmin gps map 66i and see how i do this video isn't sponsored but you will find links in the description to some of the items maybe like the guidebook and some other things that you'll see i do get a little bit of a kickback if you purchase them it doesn't raise the price if you use that link to purchase. So I'll give you a look around and how ruggedly beautiful this place is. I'm driving my Wrangler Willys Eco Diesel and towing my X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer. Now it's time to jump back in the Jeep and get this trip started. I met a couple other Jeepers. One of them told me I shouldn't try to take this trip with my trailer and the other one said I wouldn't have any problem. The guidebook says it's easy. Well, I'm gonna find out for myself. The trip outlined in the guidebook is a loop, but I'm only going to do one half of that loop today. There's going to be a lot of Joshua trees, beautiful scenery, and some awesome views. I have a steep sandy hill coming up, so I'm going to shift into four low and go up this hill in four low. There's a turn at the top to the right, so I want to make sure that if I have to slow down and just crawl, I want to make sure I'm in four low. Give me a little extra traction and I'll just crawl my way up this hill. One steep sandy hill was a piece of cake for the Jeep. Now I'm just trying to enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery without driving off the side of the road. So far so good. I set another coordinate out of the guidebook I have and, and here's where I am. I'm about to start descending from this ridge and I had no idea. Jawbone's just awesome, just incredible place. So I'm really glad that I decided to do this today. So far, as long as everything goes good, there's some really incredible views from up here. Jump back into the Jeep and continue this journey. I got quite a ways to go. I've only ever camped at Jawbone Canyon near Jawbone Station. If you only see that part of the park, you're not gonna have any indication of just how magnificent this place is. All along this road, SC251, there's a lot of magnificent mountaintops and valleys to look over into. I reached the intersection of SC251 and Kelso Valley Road. Kelso Valley Road is another great road that you can take that's much easier, and you can do it with about any vehicle. I'm going to drive ahead a little ways and find Butterbrett Road, which is also Butterbrett Wildlife Sanctuary. I picked an absolutely incredible day to be out here with all the wildflowers, the Joshua trees, and the different types of terrain. I'm only showing you a little bit, but if you ever get a chance to come out here, you're going to be amazed at Butterbread Springs Road. We've had good rain, so the hills are covered with wildflowers. I feel like I made a good decision to turn off of Kelso Valley Road onto Butterbread Canyon Road, also known as SC-123 because it's really been an awesome ride. Steep sandy road and I'll show you around. It's really magnificent here. I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking as far as Death Valley. I didn't realize Jawbone Canyon was like this. Here's something strange. Road closed. An old disc from a farm implement. 
Somebody welded road closed onto that. Must have been a road going through here at one time. If you like getting out in the wilderness by yourself, this is a great place to do it. I saw two Jeepers early on when I first started, and I haven't seen a single soul since. The link that's going to be appearing on this page, I didn't know, but this night I was going to find one of the most beautiful campsites I ever found, and I was eventually going to get my Jeep and trailer stuck in the snow. Check it out, how I managed to get my way out of that little predicament. You can see the gate they put in this creek bed to stop 4x4s from driving up. Every which way you turn is a beautiful view. Water Brett Canyon Road dumped me out on here to Kelso Valley Road. And this is asphalt, I'm going to have to air the tires up. Well, thanks for joining me in the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And I will see you on the next one, and don't forget, the best is yet to come.